Hey, what's up YouTube? Chris Gardner here and today we are going to be going over some software called Huggin, which is pretty useful for making some really high quality panorama stitches from the raw photos. In this case, we are going to be making one from these drone views uh, where I have a video coming that compares the in-camera stitching to the stitching you can complete yourself and we are completing it with JPEGs, no less, when we have DNGs available to us. However, this will be fine. Uh, so we are in advanced, let's go to advanced interface and let's turn on the good control points and we're just going to let it go. So it's going to take a look at all of the photos in our collection, 24, 25 and then it will match them up uh, by pairing their similar looking features and then figure out their positions to each other uh, to make that spherical image. So this sometimes might take a while, could depend on how many photos you get. You could be shooting as few as, you know, something like eight. Uh, but you know, this coming out of the drone is, is 25. So your results may vary. And there we go, 1600 control points added. So that's pretty good, a lot more than we can do by hand. Although sometimes you do have to go through and do that, which you would do in here. Uh, not looking too user friendly at the moment, if you ask me, but it is possible. Uh, you know, typically we'd, we'd start it before the automatic stitcher and uh, these would not be upside down. Anyway, so we've got our control points added. Now we're going to figure out their positions. And this should be great. There, maximum of 30 pixels of variation, which is really good result. Standard deviation is about five pixels and seven pixels is the average. Okay, so apply the changes. Yes, we like that result. And now we can go into here, this is the preview. And this is looking a little bit weird, but don't worry about that. We are going to go here. And what we have is just to put our horizon level again. And it's this funny way of leveling because as you pull one area down, another one has to go up. And so you just have to incrementally pull them all down a bit. So you get to a result where it appears as though all of the horizons, you know, in the case of relatively flat land, uh, are keeping along a single or, you know, within a, an acceptable range here. So now we have that. Uh, cropping won't apply because this is a full 360. Now the drone doesn't shoot this, it fills this in on its own, which is one of the best parts about having the drone shoot the panorama in, and produce it for you is it fills this in automatically and it's not terrible at doing it. Uh, but we get way higher picture quality as you'll see shortly. So we are gonna go back to here into the stitcher. Now, calculate field of view we don't need. Uh, calculate optimal size. This is like a default size or something, but watch this. 17,000 by almost 9,000. So this is, you know, a very high resolution panorama, something like uh, 150 5-ish megapixels. And, you know, versus the one that comes out of the, the drone itself is maybe 32 or, or 24 area. So you're getting substantially more information from this one. Uh, and, and in the case of this here, like this is a very fast preview of our panorama. So these are hopefully all going to be cleared up by the time we see a finished file. So we are gonna go back to here and we can stitch it. And we're gonna, we have to save the file. So we're gonna call this a YouTube demo. And we'll save this as, oop, oop.
And here we go, we'll just let that ride. All right, so we finally got to the completion of that, but uh, you know, strangely enough, here it does say, oh, maybe not. That could have been a project from a previous day. Anyways, we completed it. All's done, all's well. Let's close that um, and pull up the file which we have here. We'll have a little look at what we got here now. Uh, so if you want to know, this uh, is an uncompressed TIFF file. We've output 305 megabytes, approximately 300. So here we go. Now, as you can see, we've got the transparency still here. So that is something we would need to fix. Uh, one fast way to do that is take all this. Uh, here we can control J that and drop it below tab stretch up and so a little filter oh. approved and you know this is essentially to a similar uh, degree of the way that the camera will process it to this for this area right here and I always forget which direction I want to start in there we go not too shabby right and now let's zoom in have a little look so here we go, that is 100%. And look at that detail. Uh, you know, and remember this is off of JPEG, so had we done a little bit of processing before, we, we you know, let's say we take the DNGs into Lightroom and export those, we may have gotten, you know, even, even better coloring uh, or uh, sharper but you know there's nothing to complain about here that's for sure anyways having seen this uh, you know put together there is another video I've got where I show you it with the drone stitch panorama and if you want to see it for yourself I do have it on one of my 360 photo hosts online and I have that link below in the description uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos cheers